Hello everyone, my name is Randomly, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the shattering effect, portal effect in VR chat. So without wasting any time, let's jump right into it. So first thing is first is that I actually created a download link in the description below. It's the shattering effect that I put it on my Patreon. Now put your credit cards and wallets away because this is 100% free. Although I do appreciate all donations and everything. Right in here you'll see the It's Randomly Shatter effect. Uh, Unity package. So go ahead and click on that and you can download it right into your file. So once you have downloaded my package from Patreon and drag it into your project, it should pop up right here as its randomly shatter effect. And you can see right here we have all these little tools here and there. Uh, the readme sign is not always, the readme sign right here is not really accurate. Uh, that's why I'm making a video about it. So what we're going to start off with is the world constraints, is that we're going to go ahead and drag that onto your avatar like there uh, go ahead and unpack it unpack prefab and then open it up and take the reset and drag it onto your avatar again and it should look like that now go ahead and highlight your avatar and then you're going to go scrolling down until you see playable layers click customize and then press the fx right here this is where you're going to drag your portal FX right there. And then you go to go to expressions, customize, and this is where you're going to drag your portal era and then the portal menu. And that should be it from there. Now, the only thing that is left is your materials is for the portal effect to actually work. So as you can see, if we open up the portal and check it, as you can see, portal shows up but our avatar is still there we want our avatar to be hidden and only be seen inside the portal when the portal opens up so as you can see here we open up the inner portal and take away the fracture and we want our avatar to be seen only to be seen inside the fracture so let's go ahead and close that close that and close that now there are two ways of actually creating your materials. Uh, one of them is actually pretty easy. Uh, if you have the Pyomi shaders, uh, I'm gonna go to my shaders right here, which is all my shaders right here, or my materials right here. So to start off with the e the easiest part for your materials is that we're gonna create a new folder, and we're gonna call this Portal Material. And depending on how many materials that you have on your avatar, for me, I have four because I optimized it. I'm going to go open up right here. And so four, we're going to create four new materials. So that's one. That's two. That's three. And that is four. And now we're going to set each one of these materials to the Pyomi shader. So go to standard, Pyomi. Uh, for me, I'm using the version Pyomi 7.3, Pyomi Tune. As you can see here, I'm using the version, the latest version of Pyomi uh, 7.3. And go to Main. Click on this little dot right here in the main texture. And we're going to go ahead and find your material. So mine is called Atlas. And we're going to do the first one right here. So and we're going to do it to all of them. So now that we have our portal effect, uh, portal material right here, so we're going to go ahead and drag all these materials right here onto our avatar. So this one's, my face always seems to be tricky. Right there. So that. Put it on my hand right there. Close. Of course my shoes. So I know that it doesn't seem like we didn't do anything, but then we're going to go ahead and uh, press the body. And just right on below right here, we can see all of our materials that we have created. Open it up, and then we're going to scroll down and look down for render options. Open that up, and go to stencils as well. And now we're going to do some little um, changes here and there. So as for the stencil reference, we're going to do that as 5. Uh, stencils uh, compare and this is actually compare and function uh, we're going to change that to equal and then right here we're going to change the render 
to 5,000. Just like so. And just for me, I'm always a little bit OCD about this. I always like to put my avatars, uh, rendering and present, and the uh, cutout. That's totally optional for you guys. Matter. Oh, and I kind of ruined it, so let's actually do that. There you go. So just make sure. Uh, transparency to 5,000. Uh, stencil, stencil compare function to equal. And stencil uh, reference to 5. And as you can see, my face completely disappeared. But if we open up our portal, inner portal, and then take away the fracture, as you can see, my face completely shows up. It only disappears when it's not looking. So we're going to go ahead and do that to all of our uh, new materials. So as you can see, my avatar completely disappeared, but once we open up our portal, he reappears. And that's how we actually do our effect for the portal shattering effect. So option number two, if you guys do not have the Pyomi shader, uh, sometimes if you guys are going through your your material effect right here, for example, let's scroll down to right here. As you can see, uh, in some materials, they don't have that rendering option. So what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, locate a script that I created right here. And this material is just an example that what I did um, but when you guys go through the script, that whatever shader that you are using, find the script. And first thing is first is actually press Control D to duplicate. And we're going to rename it to however we want, but I'm just going to do test. Press OK like that. And then we're going to go ahead and double click our test script. So once you guys open that up, you should open up to Visual Studios. And this is where we're going to actually recode the shader to make the the material to work. Um, I just deleted some parts here and there because I'm going to walk you guys through. But the first thing to do is actually on the very top, we're going to rename this. Uh, instead of actually example, we're going to call it test. Uh, but, you know, re rename it however you want. And then you'll scroll down in the shaders and you'll find something that says sub shader. Under tags, we're actually going to find right here in quotes, and we're going to type down render type. And then equal in quotes, and this is however you want. You can do as a cutout, or from, for example, we can also do uh, Just like that. If uh, it's just example, however you guys want it, um, and then we're gonna do the Q equal, and then in quotes, trans transparent plus two thousand. So transparent always um, always has a, a three thousand percent, but we also wanted to do a plus two thousand to maximize it. And then we're going to go ahead and press enter right here and we're going to do LOD 200 press enter oops press enter like that and we're going to go stencil and then quote like that press enter again and then we're going to do ref 5 enter comp equal and as you can see, we recoded this little tag right here to stencils, ref5, and comp equal. So when you, uh, when you guys load the shader into the material, it should automatically in Q will be in transparent 2000 and stencils at ref5, comp equal. So let's go ahead and test that out. So we're going to press save. Then we can go back to our avatar right here. And just for a example, let's go to body, scroll down, and let's go ahead and just find an example. We're going to do uh, the close or, or so. And usually, um, usually in the shader, it'll say like custom slash whatever. You just had to locate that. So for me, it's uh, in custom. So let's scroll down and find that. And we're going to actually the shader 
to custom. As you can see, my portal data portal test appears. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And as you can see in the data right here, it's, it says smoothness, but it's actually at the uh, function five and then the shader is at 5,000%. So then if we go ahead and open up our portal right here, as you can see, my close reappear it disappears in like so. So that's how you actually do the coding for the material. So now that we have our materials, now we can actually close the inner portal, take away the reappear the fracture, and then close the scatter all together. Now we need to do a new animation for our uh, avatar. So let's actually bring him back and put on our main main materials. So as you can see here, I'm actually going to my new materials. This is my main materials. So let's actually find my avatar there and put back his clothes just like so. And now we're going to go ahead and duplicate our avatar. So let's do control D to duplicate, hide our main, and now let's open up our, our duplicate. And then we're going to go to the battery effect of our folder, go to FX animations. And this is where we're going to create our two new animations for our materials. So let's go ahead and highlight our main, uh, go to animations, and then we're going to go ahead and press create right here. And then we're going to call this material on. And we're going to go ahead and press save. So once this is actually the material on, we're going to go ahead and press the little red button right here. Like so. And then go to our project. And then we're going to go ahead and find our portal material that we just created. And we're going to go ahead and drag it onto our avatar. So my face hard like so right there. Hands close and that so as you can see, my avatar completely disappeared. Go back to animations. And as you can see, all the materials pop and pop are right here. So now we're going to go ahead and highlight that by just clicking the little dot on the top of here. We need to go by one frame over and go back to projects materials to our main materials and then we're going to go ahead and reapply our main materials that 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 like that go back to our animations and as you can see we can go ahead and press our little red button and we can close that and we can preview it and there we go. So once that's done, we can go ahead and create a new material or create a new animation, create a new clip. And we're gonna call this material off. Go ahead and press save. And then we're gonna do everything but in reverse. Okay, so if we go ahead and press the little red button right here and then we're gonna go to project, go to portal material, and then we're going to go ahead and reapply that to our avatar. So make sure you actually place your materials on there correctly. You don't want to actually mix them up. Like so. There you go. My avatar has completely disappeared. If we go back to animations, as you can see, our materials are all on there. So this is off. So we need to do this all in reverse. So off goes to on. So now we need to reapply our main materials. My face. There go. There. There. And there. And there we go. So now we reappear. So once you have done all of that, we can go ahead and uh, press the little red button right here. We don't need that anymore. And then we can go ahead and delete our duplicates that we just created and go back to our main, like so.
Now we can go ahead and highlight our avatar right here. Scroll down until we see our portal FX. Double click that right there. And as you can see, I have my materials all set and ready to go. Everything is all set and ready to go. All we have to do is find our materials that we just created. So let's go to FX, animations. As you can see, our two new animations have pop up right here. This is material off. Go ahead and take your material off and drag it right onto there. Then highlight the material on and drag your material on right onto there. Now, the last thing that you need to do is click on this one time. And as you can see here, it says loop time. We actually want to uncheck that. We don't want it on loop. Then we go over to material on, loop time, uncheck that, and everything should be all set to go. Now, before you guys go crazy with your avatar, your shattering portal effect is that I just want to point out some things here and there. So before you do a little build test or go public with the avatar for you, is that we want to make sure that there are some things here and there that are closed and open. So for example, right here, we want the inner portal to be closed like that, and then the fracture to be open. And then audio should be off, the plane should be on, the wall should be on, and the outer, outer portal should be on, like so. And then at the very end, like here, the portal mesh shatter should be at off. Now, why do we want this to be hidden? Well, if you guys have this portal um, on like this, now it doesn't seem harmful that it's invisible because you know you're going to be walking around but in some cases if people have your avatar hidden they're going to see uh, something that almost looks like this and it is absolutely unbearable uh, for people to see that uh, around in VR chat and we don't want that we want people to uh, see absolutely nothing like this so please make sure that you guys actually uh, hide everything and don't touch anything as so because otherwise people are not going to find that very pleasant to see a white box in front of you. And there we go. I hope everyone enjoys and actually find this shattering effect very fun to play around with. Looking forward to see you guys in the comments below and see how it works. Thanks for watching. My name is Randomly and like always, keep smiling for me.